The following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Women's Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericawomen.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff and management. Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I'm excited to have you join us for another segment of Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. And this week, we're going to be talking about Lighten Up how to lighten up and shine, particularly during this holiday season. Things can start to feel heavy. We can be pulled a lot of different directions as we are connecting with family and friends in new and different ways while we're continuing the normal stuff (laughs) that we do in life and go along. And sometimes we can get a little stressed. We can get pulled and feel like we're being pulled too many directions. So today I want to encourage you to take a breath with us. And lean in as we discuss how to lighten up and shine. I find one of the things I've been exploring recently is visibility. And how as we are willing to lean forward and be a little bit more visible, we actually can serve at a higher level. Because we can impact and touch more people. When we're willing to step forward and really share who we are and what we do, and we're not spending all this energy trying to hold ourselves back or be something we're not, we suddenly have more energy, can be seen more clearly and consistently, and serve on a higher level. And part of the reason I've really been exploring this subject lately and why it's so pertinent to our conversation today is because we've been expanding into television. And so not only are we syndicated on several channels and radio, which is fabulous and we're listened to around the world. I love, love, love that. We are now also stepping into television on a global way as well. And this channel that we've created is all about transformational programming and really bringing that content and heart to the world. And we're being powered by Voice America. So we're so honored to be stepping into this space with them on this transformational channel. And it's called Empowered Connections TV. And one the guest I have today and guests that you're going to be meeting through the next few months are stepping out in a bigger way. They're stepping out to bring their message into television as well. So radio and television to really touch the world in a really big way. And it's because they're responding to a heart to serve, a willingness to be more visible, which can sometimes feel a little bit more vulnerable, to bring their message forward to really serve the world in a big way. And so as I've had the honor of stepping into this medium as well as my guests, I've learned a lot. I've grown a lot. I've learned what not to do. (laughs) I've learned what to do. And I've had the opportunity to be seen as well as heard. And it's been an invaluable experience. I'm so honored to be on the journey in this way. And I'm really excited to have one of our hosts, our TV hosts, on this show today as well. And she's going to be sharing some of her heart, why she does what she does, and how she's called to touch the world. So I really encourage you to lean in and listen to this show as we talk from our hearts about the journey of stepping into more visibility and what that has meant to us. And as we're sharing this, I encourage you to kind of listen inside as well, inside yourself to what does this mean to you? How can you perhaps step forward and be just a little bit more visible in your life? I call it taking center stage of your life, not 
a side character or a supporting character or you're treating life like a dress rehearsal because we can do that sometimes. Like when I come back through next time, I will do it this way. And instead of realizing this is the moment that we have. And I want to invite you in every moment that you have in your life that you are bringing you fully forward and fully into it. And maybe that does mean television. Maybe it does mean radio. Maybe it means going and being more visible at that next networking event or that next family event or or letting yourself just be seen in a little bit bigger way. We have this tendency to step back and let others shine or kind of shrink away. And when we do that, the world misses out because you are a gift. And there's this myth out there that somehow if we shine, it doesn't let others shine. And that's actually not true. It's a myth. The more we're willing to shine and share, the more it lights the path for others to do the same and to bring their valuable gifts and wisdom and insight to the world. So let's just think about these things for a moment and take a breath together. I love pausing and taking a breath together as we start our conversation. So for those of you who are driving, please stay safe, hands on the wheels, fully alert, just kind of tuning in, listening in on a little deeper level. And those of you who are able to, I encourage you to put both feet on the floor, really ground yourself. Taking a breath, one hand on your heart, one hand on the top of your head, bringing all of you in heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit. Now let's take a breath, and this time as you breathe out, close your eyes and really focus in. Closing eyes. And in this space, I encourage you to seek what is it that you need today to support you, to encourage on you, Encourage you on your journey to perhaps listen for a moment and see how can you be a little bit more visible, a little more present in your life? What do you need to support you in doing that? Taking a breath and listening. Sometimes it's a word, a phrase, a picture, an emotion, a memory that will be given. And really see what is being prompted within you that you need to encourage and support you on your journey. And when you're ready and you have your information, I encourage you to come back into the room. Another big breath. And open up your eyes and capture that information. What is it that you need today to support you and encourage you on your journey? And capture this. Again, write it down. Keep it present, top of mind and heart. We can get so busy running from one thing to the next, we can forget what it is that we're looking for or what we need. And when we can keep it top of mind, it's a lot easier to recognize it when it comes along to see it so that we can lean in and say yes to those things that are supporting you and no to the things that are not. That clarity and that wisdom and asking will actually help you move forward faster but you have to pause and listen and seek so that you know what to say yes to and what to say no to. Because I want to see you. I want you fully present, visible in your life, and really bringing you forward. That's the greatest gift that you can bring to the world is you. So let's take one more breath together. (sighs) Fabulous. So Suzanne, who's our amazing guest today, and I'll be introducing her more formally in a moment. Suzanne, I didn't know if you had something shared upon your heart that you'd like to share with us today. 
I would, Rebecca, and thank you for that invitation. What I'd like to bring forward is really stepping into the pure spirit of who you are and overcoming the limitations of the ego mind. So as you move throughout the day, you can step into a harmonious and synchronistic flow where all of the people, places, and things that you need to fulfill your highest purpose just fall into place beautifully. And when you stay in harmony with your spirit, then you don't tend to run into the resistance of the ego mind, which is always limiting. So by stepping into the spirit, you can just remain open and expansive. Beautiful. Let's breathe that in together. Open, expansive. And I love that description, Susanna, being in harmony and things flowing easily when we're in that space. So listeners, just I encourage you to lean into that. Our goal is to help you be more in sync and more in alignment with who you are and all that you're called to be and to do with less pressure, more ease, and more support as you're moving forward in your life. So breathe that in again. Beautiful. And what I had laid on my heart is to really just stay connected and be in the flow. And what was a prompting that I received on my heart is to keep breathing. As you notice, we've done a lot of breathing today, a little bit more than normal. And that's what was laid on my heart, that remembering to breathe, to pause, to listen. And when you need it most is when you think you can least afford to do it. That's when you most need a pause, most need a breath to recenter and listen and breathe in the support that is all around you because this is not a solo journey. We are not designed to do it all alone. So I remind you to remember to look up (laughs) and reach out and let others connect and support you on the journey. Wonderful. So as we are talking about lighten up and shine today and really helping you step forward powerfully in your life with ease, with support, with connection, I want you to keep thinking about what it is that will support you, what it is that you need that will encourage you on our journey. It's really easy for us to offer to help others and to reach out and and stretch in that way. I think Frequently, we forget to see what it is that we need. And when someone asks us, we're not quite sure what to say, or I'm doing okay, or I can see what this other person needs. But we don't frequently pause and listen to what we really need and then be willing to be a little bit vulnerable to share what it is you need, especially when you're asked that question. When people ask how they can support you, how they can encourage you, Have something that you can share with them. Let them be a part of your life in that way, as well as in the giving way that we can all do so easily. But be willing to receive as well. So as we go into our first commercial break here, I encourage you to sit in this space a little bit longer and really listen to what it is that you need to serve and support you today. Take a couple extra breaths. And when we come back, we will have a nice, beautiful conversation with Suzanne Ross as she shares her wisdom and insight on this subject. We'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. 
Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed that moment and that break to really listen in and see what it is that you need today, particularly around the subject of lightening up. Let's take some of the pressure off and really stepping forward in a way that you can shine, be seen, and serve powerfully. And I believe the way you can most powerfully serve is being fully you, that that is the biggest gift that you can bring into the world and is so, so needed. Oh, breathe that in. Wonderful. And I hope you feel with this breath and a big hug that I send out to you today to encourage you on your journey. And glad to have you joining us. And as promised, I'm going to introduce our amazing expert that we have today. Her name is Suzanne Ross. She is a speaker, a wellness expert, inspirational author, and she has certifications in personal training, nutrition, as a personal trainer, I apologize, as a personal trainer, nutrition coach, and longevity wellness specialist. She is a TV show host and producer, and it is my honor and privilege to warmly welcome the amazing Suzanne Ross to the show. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rebecca, and I am delighted to be here with you today. I am so thrilled to be able to share with the audience my journey and specifically on how I can offer some wisdom and insight that will benefit them on their paths. Oh, then we are in for an exciting show. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. Thank you for being here. It's an honor to have you and on the show today. And I know we have some exciting announcements that we're going to be sharing throughout the day. So listeners be leaning into that. Great information, great content, as well as you heard it here first kind of information. So make sure you're leaning in and listening for all of the tips and wisdom and shares that we're going to be giving to you today. But I love to start with the heart and the core of why you do what you do, Suzanne. Do you mind sharing why this work about empowering people and supporting them in all these different mediums? Why is that personally so important to you? You know, Rebecca, 20 years ago, I had a, an experience that transformed my life. I um, was working in the corporate world and was not finding that to be particularly gratifying or fulfilling, and it was showing up in many physical, mental, and spiritual um, ailments. And so one day I was called to run to the top of a mountain, and I actually threw my arms up and asked for some guidance from a higher power. And in that moment, I was told that I was meant to be a healer mm. and that I would be guided every step of the way if I surrendered and opened to that um, spiritual inspiration. And I was guided to uh, go instead of um, into the world of business into the field of health and wellness. And I took that uh, advice to heart. And in a matter of a few weeks, I transformed my life from being a business executive to a wellness expert and um, was able to open a wellness facility and offer my wellness services to hundreds of people over the, over the next 20 years. And um, so primarily, I was 
first involved in fitness and nutrition, but several years ago realized I could help my clients on a much deeper level by opening to mind and spirit programming as well. Thank you for sharing that. And and this is quite a transition that you made from the business world and really felt uh, this pull or this calling through different ailments and things you were struggling with that led you to making this transition. Can you share how you're feeling now? Because some of the way it sounded like that was showing up in your life was in physical ailments and struggles that you were having. How has that changed as you've gotten in alignment with your calling? I can truly say that my physical, mental, my physical and mental health really uh, have flourished since Mm -hmm. I found my true calling. Um, And then I was able to fill the spiritual void that I really believe was the cause of, um, you know, the ailments to begin with. Once I started to explore my spirituality and step onto a spiritual path, um, you know, my life really began to expand in many wondrous ways, not only aligning me with my true calling, but also giving me the ability to reach out and inspire others and empower others on many levels. And I think that's what really fills me up spiritually as well, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. No, I I know that about you. (laughs) That there's such a a filling in as you serve and fill others that that happens for you. And it's really, really beautiful. But I wanted to take a moment. I appreciate you letting me go there just because I think some of us um, that are listening to the show today may be kind of in a place where we're struggling a little bit and wondering, um, is this where I'm supposed to be, or perhaps we are hearing the call, but we're not quite sure how to get there or um, having others in our life that have made that transition and um, journey. And I appreciate you sharing your heart in that. And I know for myself, I was in the financial industry for a number of years and in corporate America when I got the the call to move into a different direction in the area of women's empowerment. And it wasn't something for me that happened overnight. It was gradual and it started as, as a hobby, something I was doing on the side and then grew and grew and grew. And what I have learned, and I'd love to get your thoughts on this as well, Suzanne, I've just found that being able to um, come out of hiding in a sense, because I did a lot of hiding, uh, but coming out of hiding and really being able to share my heart and my journey with others and seeing it make a difference, seeing them step into their light and what they're called to do or having that aha moment that they can carry forward is so um, powerful for me. And that gives me a thrill and really encourages me on my journey to be able to invest in people in that way and see them shine and make those connections in a powerful way. And uh, for those of you who are, you know, on, on that edge, maybe feeling that calling into a little more visibility or in a little different direction than perhaps you originally thought you were going in, but you can feel that call and the pull I want to encourage you to lean in and say yes, because you wouldn't be pulled and called unless there were people in a sense that need who you are and what you have to offer that is absolutely needed. And the how will fall into place. I just find it comes after the yes, (laughs) the yes or no comes first. And then the how comes after. And I'd love your thoughts on that, Suzanne, in your journey. (laughs) You know, I'd like to um, present my book, Wake Up, at this time, Rebecca. Sure. Going through the 10-day cathartic journey in my book, it is, a, it is an awakening through reflection um, so that the readers have an opportunity to reflect upon their life so far. And in doing so, they really get to know themselves on a much deeper level. And in this, in this type of reflection, Oftentimes, your authentic self is revealed to you. I've had many readers say, it's like an introduction to myself. (laughs) Mm. And as they reveal their authenticity, their true calling is is revealed and they are able to um, sort of peel back the layers of 
what it's going to take for them to really be harmoniously aligned with their true self. Beautiful. And I know that this is the your wake up book that it um, catalog not catalogs, but takes them through that 10 day journey and process where they can, in some sense, wake up to themselves on on a new level. I know that you have some other books coming out and soon to be a trilogy. Is that correct? That is correct. I was inspired to write three books, one for the mind, one for the body, and one for the spirit. So my book, Wake Up, that was released in the spring of this year, is all about liberating your mind from limiting beliefs. And my book, Lighten Up, coming out in the spring of next year, is about empowered eating and enlightened living. So it's about purifying the body and also enlightening the mind. And then my final book, Rise Up, is all about igniting the spirit. And so it is um, reflecting on life on on a much deeper and more spiritual level. Beautiful. Mind, body, and spirit. I love it. (laughs) Well, thank you. And do you know when those books are coming out? I know they're coming out um, earmarked sometime in 2016. Do you know if it's the beginning, towards the middle? And do you have a feel for that? I do. Lighten Up is um, slotted to be released in the spring of 2016 and rise up in the fall. Perfect. So, listeners, I encourage you to be leaning in and watching for those opportunities to get support in the mind, body, and spirit. Um, Suzanne, thank you for making those available and, and letting our listeners know to watch for those opportunities and information. And listeners, for the at, towards the end of the show, we'll let you know how you can stay in touch with Suzanne and get connected and lean into some of these tools and resources and her amazing books that she is bringing to the world. So with that, let's take a breath together again. <sighs> Wonderful. Because you are getting to go to your next commercial break. And here's what I'd love for you to do. Is I want you to actually listen to the commercials. (laughs) Not just skip through them or or rush off to the next thing. And here's why. Because these commercials are sharing about upcoming opportunities that are coming forward on television, radio. As well as they're produced by sponsors who make this show possible. Because they believe in you. They believe in empowering women is transforming the world and they are absolutely leaning into you with their name brand and resources so i encourage you to get to know them get to know these organizations and people that believe so powerfully in you we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Tune in for Suzanne Ross and Lighten Up TV, evolutionary wellness for the body, mind, and spirit. Each episode features Suzanne and her amazing guests, including inspirational authors, speakers, wellness experts, and spiritual guides. This series is focused on achieving total well-being so that you can live well and love life. Visit LightenUpTV.net to find out more. Lighten Up TV is presented by The Awakening Center, a nonprofit for those seeking a higher way of living and being. Don't miss out on living your best life now. Go to LightenUpTV.net today. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. 
Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you got a chance to get to know those sponsors and the information provided in the commercials just a little bit at a little bit deeper level. You'll have an opportunity again. We'll have another commercial break coming up, but really want to encourage you to tap into those resources and and listen because they're absolutely organizations and people that believe in you and are continuing to invest in you and really making the show that we have today and syndicated in so many different places possible. So just want to keep encouraging you to do that. But we were talking and continue to be talking with Suzanne as she was sharing about her powerful trilogy that is coming forward and the it will be complete by fall of 2016, but you'll have opportunities to lean into each of her books as you move forward. So the first one, Wake Up, is currently available. And then she has her two other books and the Up trilogy coming forward. So she was sharing a little bit about that in this last segment. Now, I was talking in the opening segment about being visible, about stepping forward in a little bit bigger way. And one of the ways that our amazing Suzanne is doing that is she has conferences that she holds. And she's a speaker. And she has these books coming out. And on top of that... She is producing a television show, a weekly television show that she is bringing to the world where she's lifting up other healers and messengers as well as her powerful messages. And this programming is being launched currently and is available on our television channel that I mentioned earlier, which is Empowered Connections TV. And it's just Empowered Connections TV.com. You can lean in and check out our programming and our shows. But I wanted to give you a chance to see what Suzanne is producing, her heart, and what she's creating. Because her first show was talking a little bit about the heart behind the scenes of what she's created and she has a beautiful vision of what she's bringing forward so Suzanne do you mind sharing putting on that hat as a TV show host and producer you're wearing both roles and share a little bit about this journey with us and your heart in what you're bringing to the world well I was truly inspired to illuminate other wellness experts who were really creating dynamic programs to inspire, empower, and enlighten others. The uh, show was prompted by an event that I created in Pleasanton, California earlier in the spring, and it was meant to be a book launch. But then I was inspired to invite all of my friends who had written amazing books and were creating transformational programs. So um, the event was a two-day event that um, included 12 wonderful speakers, uh, authors, and wellness experts. So uh, the footage from that show turned out to be so amazing that I was going to create a documentary, but then I knew that wasn't enough, that I was going (laughs) to need to create um, a half-hour show for each individual speaker and author to come forward and, you know, have the opportunity to highlight them individually and, and what they were doing. So... Um, that's how my show originally got created. Beautiful. And I love that you have such a heart to bring your messaging forward, but also to lift up others and bring their messaging to the world as well. I see that in everything that you do, Suzanne. It's just a consistent, beautiful heart um, that you have in this type of work of when you're doing something, when you're called to create something, you also look out there and say, oh, Let's bring these people along as well and bring their message forward. And it starts to create this synergy that is far bigger than what any one person can do. And it can create 
such transformation and change. I love that you have a heart like that and that you walk in that way. Well, I would like to turn that around on you, Rebecca, (laughs) and shine the light on you and all of the wonderful things that you're doing to illuminate others as well. And I must say that if it weren't for the beautifully inspired Rebecca, that I would not have the opportunity to do this show on her channel, the Empowered Connections channel. (laughs) Thank you, Suzanne. See, I can hide. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> That's so no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I receive that. And, and I thank you so much for that. And it truly is an honor. I love lifting up amazing transformational speakers and healers and those that have a heart to serve. It is such an honor and a privilege to create opportunities and channels and programming to bring people like you to the world. And that's really how I'm called to make a global difference. It's heart by heart, life by life, you know, soul by soul and show by show. And I'm honored to have you on that journey and joining our show and bringing you and your message and your sphere of influence that you're called to touch and to bring forward in such a powerful way. So I receive and I thank you. And again, I thank you for being part of what we're doing in touching the world. (laughs) It is truly my pleasure. (laughs) So can you share, you shared a little bit of how this um, show came to be and and where the inspiration came. Can you share how it's evolved a little bit from there? I can. So I was really guided to bring forth a show that would be all about integrating the mind and the body and the spirit because I do believe that we are three in one and one in three and it's only when we make a conscious effort on a daily basis to stimulate our mind, to nurture our body, and to ignite our spirit that, you know, we can be totally well. Um, We all would like to experience total well-being. And the only way to do that is really to master and harmonize our body, mind, and spirit. And I have a sincere desire to reach out and teach, inspire, and empower others to achieve total well-being in that way. So I've invited guests who specialize in physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. Beautiful. And I have a question here. So if someone is looking at, okay, I I understand integration is important of the mind, body, and spirit. Do you have a tip or a suggestion or something that they could do on a daily basis? Because your beautiful show is on a weekly basis (laughs) and we have your books. (laughs) But I'm also thinking there might be a tip or something that you can give our listeners today for them to lean into to really get that support on a daily basis or an activity or a new way of being that can help them with this integration of their mind, body, and spirit. Absolutely. So just simply to say to yourself throughout the day, you know, mind, body, and spirit. And when you think of the mind, you're thinking highest thoughts, words, and actions. And that's all about setting aside the ego mind and staying connected with your pure spirit so that when negative or limiting beliefs come up about yourself or others, you're able just to notice them, but then to override them with um, more inspired, loving, and non-judgmental thoughts that lead to better words and actions. And then for the body, just to remind yourself to be nurturing your body. Am I eating the foods that best serve my health? Am I taking a quick walk around, you know, the building, like if you work in an office, am I getting up every hour just to, you know, get some physical exercise and maybe stretch and walk a little? Am I incorporating physical exercise in a structured way in my daily life? And then for spirit, these wonderful breathing practices that you're offering, Rebecca, are great and should be done throughout the day, of course. Um, but also maybe, you know, setting aside some time just for some introspection, um, meditation, even if it's just five minutes, 
you know, just stopping, getting quiet and going within. Beautiful. Well, and as you're sharing, Suzanne, I, I love how you're walking through this with us. And I'm just thinking that if we can have a little mental checklist <laughs> that we run through every day, that we're paying attention to our body. Have we spent a little time talking to our body and doing something good for it? Are we paying attention to how we're nourishing ourselves or not? Our thoughts, I love that. I sometimes call that um, the observer self, kind of observing without judgment, but awareness and what we're we're saying to ourselves what we're thinking and is that something we want to keep thinking and saying or do we want to shift some of that so it serves in a more powerful way and then really nourishing the spirit so listeners i encourage you to every day take a moment a minute even and really do a little how am i nourishing my body today my mind and my spirit and if you don't have something on the day scheduled to do that add it add it in and really bring this integration in a purposeful way into your life so that you can really be everything that you've called to be be and you can be in full alignment and support of who you are and what you're called to bring forward. So thank you so much for sharing, Suzanne. I appreciate that. My pleasure. Great. So as we're going back to television and we're looking at what you're doing here, what would a listener walk on, I'm sorry, listener and viewer say I'm still evolving here, a listener and a viewer <laughs> expect <laughs> or, or walk away with and in experiencing your show and, and watching your show, how will that impact their life? Well, throughout each episode, I have little suns that come up in honor of lightening up that are filled with life lessons. So as I interview my guests, I highlight the important lessons that they're bringing forth. So the viewer is going to walk away with a handful of really valuable lessons that are going to help them live and breathe in a better way that serves their serves their highest good and the highest good of others. So it's all about a higher way of living and being. And you will be given a lot of beautiful insight about, like you said, nourishing the body, mind, and spirit. So each guest will offer you know, their special gifts and their unique approach to it. Um, but I will offer, like I said, a handful of lessons with each episode that they can walk away with. Beautiful. Thank you so much for expanding on that. I'm so excited about your show and shows, I should say plural. And listeners, we are getting ready for our next commercial break. You know what to do. (laughs) And we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. 
Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that commercial break. And we are now stepping into our final segment today. I know the the time goes so quickly. And it's such an honor to have all of you on the journey with us. And this show is for you and was created to serve and support you. And I hope you have found that um, echoed throughout our time together today as Suzanne and I have been talking and sharing from our hearts and sharing what we're bringing forward in the world to continue to serve you on a higher and higher level. And in that vein, I asked Suzanne if she would provide a free gift, an amazing gift to support all of you. And she said, yes. So I always love that when my guests say yes. And the reason we make these gifts available to you is because I want you to have the same access I have to amazing experts to support you on your journey. And when you resonate one of them with one of them, and I hope you do with many of them, I wanted you to have an easy way to connect with them and to continue to get support and practical tools and eBooks and interactive tools that can support you on your journey. But here's where you have a choice. You get to say yes or no to leaning in and having this type of support in your life. And so we actually create a whole page just for you, and it's full of free gifts, gifts to support you on your journey and in your life. And they're interactive And they're all different shapes and sizes so that you can really find those that serve and support you. And here's where you'll find that information. It's on a website called Radio Gifts, and that's plural because there's more than one, radiogifts.net. So R-A-D-I-O, and then the word gifts, G-I-F as in Frank, T as in Tom, S, dot net. And you will find these gifts that we are about to share with you. So, Suzanne, do you mind sharing what your amazing gift is that you're making available for all of our listeners today? I would be delighted to. I created an ebook called Practical Spirituality. And it's all about overcoming the limitations of your ego mind so that you can step into the unlimited potential of your creative spirit. So, there are 10 powerful practices that you can do on a daily basis to notice when the ego mind is throwing up limited beliefs that may lead to limiting behaviors and just notice them and then step into the higher power of your creative spirit. So these are directly out of my book, Wake Up. Every day in my book, Wake Up, there is a section called Practical Spirituality. So these are drawn from from the book, Wake Up. Beautiful. So it sounds like a great standalone opportunity or a great compliment to your book. So how generous of you to make that available. I thank you. You're welcome. And so listeners, here's a hint. (laughs) As we were talking about the mind body and spirit before and to every day have a way that you're kind of checking in here's a free gift that will support you doing exactly that so i really encourage you to lean in and say yes to this generous gift that suzanne is making available again you just go to radio gifts dot net and enter your name and email address so we can stay in touch with you and then just scroll down to today's date which will be november 17th and you can access her amazing gift so wonderful wonderful well with that i was also chatting with suzanne behind the scenes and asked if she had anything else laid upon her heart to share with you today and wanted to open up the floor so suzanne if you had something else in addition to what we shared with today with our listeners today upon your heart i would love to give you an opportunity to share with them thank you so much rebecca I have found that there are three very powerful ways that allow you to open to the expansiveness of your creative spirit and so that you can step into your unlimited potential. And they sort of go in a series, starting with inspirational breathing. So there are five different inspirational breathing practices that I offer in my book, Wake Up, and that I will offer on my Lighten Up TV episodes as well. 
as um, a free downloadable audio on my website. So inspirational breathing includes breathing practices that stimulate, breathing practices that de-stress and relax, as well as practices that inspire. Then I have dynamic movement therapy. And these are free-flowing movements that really open and expand your body so that you can open and expand your mind. These practices allow you to relax and they also invigorate you. And finally, guided meditation. I have a series of free downloadable meditations on my website. And these meditations have different purposes. Um, Some of the purposes is simply to connect you with your higher self. Others are to allow you to reflect. And some are simply to inspire. Wonderful. Well, thank you for sharing with us today. I so appreciate your heart for all that you do and that you said yes to the call (laughs) and leaned in and are bringing so much to the world through books, through speaking, through workshop leading, and through television. So thank you, Suzanne, for joining us today and all of the amazing work that you do to um, empower the world in a really powerful way. Oh, thank you so much, Rebecca. I truly appreciate it. And I want to give a shout out to the listeners and invite them to watch my new show, Lighten Up. Underlined explanation point. I'm sitting here <laughs> nodding. <laughs> you don't want to miss this show. And here's here's where you go. And we would have had this in one of those commercials if you are listening. But to also let you know, our channel is Empowered connections tv.com again that's empowered connections tv.com you will find suzanne's beautiful show called lighten up there you will also find our empowered women's series as well our women's empowerment series that is from our conferences that we do and i've had many of you listeners request an opportunity to have it live streamed or to experience it and so we have said yes and so we've converted that into a television show so you want to make sure that you're leaning in you're checking out empowered connections tv i know that you're leaning into suzanne i encourage you to check out her beautiful show we're excited to have on the channel called lighten up and listeners i want to thank you for being part of the journey for leaning in and saying yes to you and all that you're called to be and to do and i hope that you remember as you go forth in the week to pause to listen to breathe in so that you can fully be present in your life that you are able to lighten up and to shine to bring the best of you forward by remembering to nourish you, your mind, body, and spirit. You are a valuable gift to the world. And whatever you do, wherever you go, my heart's desire for you is that you will always, always, always bloom where you're planted and shine. We look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine. Thanks again for listening to the preceding program brought to you on the Voice America Women's Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericawomen.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the preceding program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff and management.